1017 FM, 710 Keel, Robert J. Wright and Aaron McCarty, and from Washington, D.C., the United States Conference of Mayors, Shreveport Mayor Adrian Perkins. So tell us about this conference. I was reading something. It's for all municipalities in the country with populations of more than, is it is it 40,000? Have I got that right? I think it's 30,000, but you primarily see the uh, bigger cities here. Um, and yeah, the conference is, is great. It's a lot of mayors from across the country uh, coming to share their best practices, to talk about what works, what doesn't work. So I'm here just being a sponge, learning about uh, as much as I can on a lot of the things I talked about on the campaign trail from public safety to economic development, um, technology initiatives, and how I can bring that back to Shreveport. So you haven't been there too long. I don't know how long it goes on. What's the number one thing or the top two or three things you've picked up along the way? Who has impressed you and what ideas have caught your fancy? The, the number one thing, I was actually sitting in a tech breakout session with the mayor of Austin, Texas, and he was talking about South by Southwest and some of the smart city initiatives that they are pursuing there. And also the mayor of Louisville, Kentucky was there and he talked about a lot of the smart city initiatives that have saved his city millions and millions of dollars. So I was able to exchange contact information with both of them to continue conversations going forward. Uh, and that really is helping me think through how we're going to become more efficient in Shreveport. Not so to, that was like the number one thing. Not to get overly wonkish, but what do you mean by smart cities? You're talking yeah. to, you know, maybe one or two old people like me <laughs> who, yeah. what exactly yeah. does that mean? Yeah, yeah. so smart city initiatives, uh, just, let's just say, for instance, you're, you started to collect data on information about trash collection, and you realize that in that data there are more efficient ways to pick up trash, places that you can place crews uh, to where you won't need as much personnel, and you can save a ton of money and just that public certain that, that delivery of public service and that applies across the board inspectors for water and sewage inspectors for property standards uh and so those are the type of smart city initiatives that i'm talking about speaking of trash pickup your oh, your, yeah. your 18 dollars your 18 dollar fee or tax or mm -hmm. hot dog or filet mignon whatever we want to call mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. i know you listened at the city council meeting about you know some alternatives. I did. Did you hear anything that you're 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 going back to your office when you get back and and draft some some uh, alternatives or compromises? Oh yeah, this is very much a work in progress. What we did was we identified a number um, that we knew would help us become fiscally healthier and that we could pay our sanitation workers. But that number is flexible to where we can still meet our objective. So I've heard a bunch of things about. From everything from just simply lowering the number to just meet, you know, one requirement and not being as healthy in year one, but still being able to take care of sanitation workers to, hey, let's do a sliding scale. So we're open to everything. and We're continuing to work this problem. We're sending information to the uh, city council's finance subcommittee. Uh, so that they can present us some alternatives as well. But the point is we have to solve these problems because the clock is ticking with both the credit rating and our sanitation workers actually being able to keep our city clean just and a, just a, a good wage. Just advice from an old an old dog, uh -huh. old bird, whatever it is. I like bird. S sliding <laughs> sliding scale requires a whole nother bureaucracy. Just it does. FYI. It does. Caution oh, about that. Oh yeah, and we're exactly and we're considering the burden. The good thing is, you know, the swap program was mentioned that we already implement with the water system. So, you know, with the swap program for those who qualify for that, they would qualify for uh, our trash pickup fee as well. So there's actually something already in place. So we don't have to go that burdensome uh, for for the citizens because, you know, we got to consider costs as well. Did you bring armed guards with you to D.C.? <laughs> I'm so happy you mentioned that. And in the city <laughs> council meeting, are. Willie Bradford mentioned um, the story that was run as well. So, no. I, and, and I said in the city council meeting, nobody knows me outside of Shreveport. I don't have a statewide profile. I don't have a national profile. So, no. And, and nobody picks me up from home or any of that stuff. We use, you know, security far less than, than previous administrations. Um, and the only time we really use it is, you know, at pretty big events when people get kind of, you know, start pulling and tugging on me and pushing family members out of the way and stuff like that. So it's, it's minimal use. You know, over the over the security. next four years, there's things you and I are going to agree on and disagree on. But that being the case, uh -huh. I got to tell you, the way that this, you just must be stunned at the way, as was I, at the sort of, sort of snowball, boulder rolling downhill way this took off on social media. Yes? The, you're talking about the security stuff? Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's surprising, but I got to be honest with you, my attention, because it's not 
fact base whatsoever. My attention is on running the city, uh, and I'm way more concerned about things that are the realities of our city. Um, and perception-wise, guess what? Shreveporters see me every day. They see me without armed guards. I walk into high school basketball games. I go into, uh, you know, dinners and lunch by myself. So, you know, I'm, I'm not – people People will realize the, the truth behind it. 